let's get started so we are back to our project folder we will create a directory which we call it core ui react python task starter that will be our project so we will have a core ui react python task starter and we will be copying core ui react starter here okay so that's will take a little longer because it has its uh, node module folder okay so now we have core ui starter then we can say cp and then we can also say python starter okay okay so now we have core ui react starter and python starter so these two projects we really needed as a base for this particular project now we will be using code uh, open and we will be open the core UI project here so this is our core UI project which we already have and we are also going to use the PyCharm and we will be opening the tutorials and Core UI Python and Python project. There you go, it's perfect. So we have Python project. Okay very simple we can check the python which we have 3.7 and we can also run python app.py which is this and server is running we have curl to test here we put look into and say okay test what this means python is working pretty good let's clean it and we have now let's go to core ui we already have node module here so what i will do i will just the npm start so this server started as 3000 as it is defined and now we have look into the starter code which is available here and we will try to call the apis which are defined here okay server is running so let's get started what we needed so i do have uh, my own website called upcoach mldl where lots of really great content available within that area you can look into some help available so what we really needed is that we need to add the proxy which we go ahead and add in this dependency here okay so http proxy middleware once we have added it what we need is we need to do npm update so proxy support okay and uh, just to make sure so now we have added that second thing what we need is that in the src folder we need to add a file called setup proxy dot js and in this setup proxy dot js we have the add support and here you could see that depending on how your apis are defined so for example v1 is a your version 1 api that's how you want to call so you need to set up that v1 and then which port is really going to connect 
so it's 3000 so server is con connected at 3000 port while this web server is actually running uh, at uh, 3000 port so we have already seen that so our setup proxy is set up and this thing is running so now we can say npm start web server going to start and it's going to load the proxy okay the file setup dot proxy now we come back we the api so here we have src we will add a folder called api and within the api we are going to add two more functions so we call the support for post support for yeah so let's add support for post so we are going to call it js and connect server post find here and i will walk you through so then now we have connect Now what these functions, so you can see here is a get request, same method is a get, URL is passed and a result object where the result will be stored. It checks if there is a distance between 200 and 300, it return response, otherwise generate error and get result object is what is really being exported from here. Something similar, here is a post, method is post and that's why you have support to post uh, a body and if the body is there, it's JSON stringify and that data is a body is being sent and remaining part is same. So only difference is how the get and post methods are implemented here. So these are the two uh, functions we have defined. Now in the starter, we have to call it. So we will say uh, import, we will call it, uh, for example, get. So this is the get, so import from pi and we are calling get so here is a get rest object okay and we need to call something similar so i have example you call get rest object get okay and if you want to call you have a function called get rest object here you are calling get rest object get rest request which is calling the get rest request here and passing the v1 hello which is v1 hello this and result will be stored which in the get res result object and that will be rendered at console then we will say component amount and within this this dot get request details and that's where we call the get part. Now we can come back here, see our UI. Let's try to decipher, work, make a call, see, hello call. And here is the call is made, 3000 from us. And request went, and then this is the response, hello from root API. You want to say or you would like to make a call get to pi here if you look into same way you have by which is bringing api handler then you have function function the previous one was the hello so if you say we are not calling here so get request to details there is a one and two so there are two separate requests and we are calling here so we just call it uh, we call it by we call it hello we call it get so this became hello and this became this dot by okay now both this request so we have a hello and we have bye it's 
a bar and so that you could see hello and bye perfect so you have seen get request if you would like to render this message as a json we need to write in the ui so that we will take care of that now we just try for post so i also have post you are sending the remember when we define the post for api handler we are sending the quest type and json quest type quest json and it's going to be one by and post result object and this function is going to be called here yes run so post is not defined we need to call it import post test object from post hopefully error no more error everything is okay call is here and and you could see here that by post here you could see this is a by post here you could see this is a by get this is a hello and responses for all of three so we are interested in by post this by we send the parameter value parameter value if you want to if you want to say something here you can say parameter value is youtube YouTube. So our tests are good.